Hey, how's it going? I just wanted to show you... I know this is old news, but... I done some digging for some predictive programming pictures on 9-11. And I found so many that I just had to share it. So I'll be quick, but I think you'll find it fascinating as I did. That I found way more than, than I thought. I would. So there's about 70, I think, that I have. I'm sure you can find more, uh, but these are just the ones that I I had time for. So anyway, I'm going to just quickly flick through and make some comment here and there, but I, I, I'm sure you know that. That. The war on terror is a hoax, and that 9-11 was an inside job. There's no question about that. So, here we go. Yeah, I found it funny at the, at the time I, I, I bumped into this little diagram, and, and I think it sums up pretty much. It sums up uh, the situation that is, you know, we ask terrorists around the world, why did you choose a career in terrorism? And then it's not so much that we didn't know this, but I think when you look at this, then it becomes pretty obvious, this statement. That terrorism, as it is today, is totally manufactured, and and for a purpose, and as strange as it is, control and money, economy and all that do does play a part in that, but it is ultimately going to go back to the Bible, and that war between good and evil as the Bible says and if you haven't got to that level yet in terms of your research then just keep going because there is no question all the rest of it is just a waste of time thinking about ISIS chemtrails and all the rest of it that's just gonna derail you and the time is running out for everyone to find the most high God and repent and help to change the world through their faith and involvement in this war and there's not very many people that understand it particularly not those that claim to be religious like majority of the Christians and all that anyhow right this is Ronaldo in a, I think it's Pirelli, but I can't really see it. That's not a great photo, but it's nine, and you see the twin towers is eleven, and this is from 1998. Power is nothing without control, and I think there's a little Superman kind of movement, and. Uh, Power is nothing without control is exactly what 9-11 brought to the powers to be. Wonder Woman, Twin Towers, breaking apart and then you find the airplanes. This is literally 63, the date. Superman, Twin Towers burning down he's flying around there and he says this is a delicate situation ordinarily I'd use super breath to extinguish such a fire but but the just might sway the twin towers too far all skyscrapers are purposely constructed to be flexible to sway several inches during high winds that's editor's note now 
the crazy thing about this is you all know that they just fell apart in like 10 seconds. How did that happen? First Kingdom. See, I, I, I told you in, in the beginning that it will have a, a biblical connection and the first kingdom and this this characters fighting against what well, demons with their pitchforks and this is exactly that fight that we are in so do not give up the research but if you're not there yet then you have to keep going and you got the twin towers at the back and something that looks like a phoenix Okay, this is something called Cracked Magazine, and you see a tower with a, with a plane flying into it from 1975. Crazy. You got the earthquake here underneath the sky's feet, which is coming really soon. I'm sure in the United States you're aware of that. And all the earthquakes that are going, going around there now. And you got the major one coming up soon. And that's from 75. Okay, going with the wind. 75 edition. You have uh, the Twin Towers here. And you got a plane. You got a volcano. You got the major earthquake that's coming. So you got everything that's going on now. And this is from 75. Sesame Street, this is a famous one, Crescent Moon, you got the, the monster eating the, the Twin Towers, and it's 76 October, so, monsters on loose, I think this has to be an ad of sort, I just can't read it, but it's pretty obvious what's going on with the Twin Towers. And uh, and the plane saga, a monster breaking apart the twin towers. This is uh, an album cover from '79. Roy Harper Band. No one ever gets out alive. Twin towers. Okay, I think I have a better one than this, uh, but let's just see, this is a Philips ad from 96, with the Twin Towers in it. This is Trading Places movie, and this is 9-11 from that very movie. So you got this shot, followed by this shot from that movie. As Schwarzenegger in the days, you got sixes right here, and you got the twin towers at the back. Who did 9 11? This is a um, Super Tramp album cover. I think this is pretty. Pretty imaginative, with all this uh, the symbolisms. Nine Eleven, as you see, with the P and the U, and uh, two buildings cutting the U up. With uh, watching it from a plane window. This is a cartoon, which I don't know which one. It doesn't take long. Once these shattered towers were the proud, resplendent World Trade Center. How the giant banner that waves above then speaks eloquently of their new purpose. Crazy. Book cover, Jose Bora. Pretty obvious. This is a game which I forgot sadly which one or cartoon. 
I think it's G.I. Joe, but I don't want to lie about that. Yeah, I think it is G.I. Joe. And this is the same. Resident, they'll eat Manhattan for dining. 87 with the Twin Towers and the checkered floor, although it's red and white. It's the squeeze with Michael Keaton, quite obvious. This is a magazine Nexus and Die Hard movie is one building, but it definitely looks like if it was two, and it resembles the World Trade Center. Now, this is interesting from uh, WWE Demolition, which is, I think, is a, is a pair will topple Twin Towers, Mega Powers. Versus Twin Towers, Twin Towers, Sneak Attack, Mega Powers. There's a lot of symbolism there. And this is 88. Magazine again, New York Real Estate 2001. Says, is there life beyond the boom? Boom meaning, obviously the property boom, but it just so happened that there was another boom. Microsoft Flight Simulator from 88 Twin Towers with a, with a nine eleven attack and this is a Illuminati card game. I think this is Twin Towers they call it, but I couldn't swear. It's just so happens to be quite like that six years prior. This is 9-11 from, from a movie, I forgot which one, sorry. Super Nintendo, this is a GIF, Aerobiz, Supersonic and Aerobiz, and it's pretty obvious with the airplane. Twin Towers at the back, this is the guy in the tower, Twin Towers right here as you see, and with the plane, 92. Another cartoon, I don't know which one. That's a question on everyone's mind. To find the answer, we must look past the destruction to the lab. Or it's just to the floors just below the impact. It is here. We can find cable and the rest of the surviving X Force. This is another cartoon, and it just happens to, to tell exactly what we should be doing. Mortadello 93. Crazy, but there's a Twin Towers with a plane impact. Twin Towers from Super Mario. 9-11 Subliminal from The Stand. Movie 9-11. This is a pinball machine. Rescue 9-11. See the boom there. And the Twin Towers in the middle. This is the Philips Ed a little bit better. 9-6. This is a, I couldn't tell, I think it's from the Philippines, an ad with the plane and the two towers there. <clears throat> I'm sure you've seen this before, this is pretty fascinating. Uh, Jonathan Click has some videos, but I don't know where is this from. But I will have to make a second part to this video, but before I... I finish I just like to reinforce again that start studying the Bible and repent pray the most high God and and that's the only way we can 
survive what's coming. So blessings.